My name is Natalie, and that was my eye. Cool, right? Well, God gave us eyes to see, and they're pretty impressive. The eye muscles are the fastest in the body, and while the eye is only an inch across and weighs less than a slice of bread, it has over two million working parts and can see millions of colors. Incredible, right? Our Bible story today is from the book of Romans and was written by a guy named Apostle Paul. Now, Paul was not one of the original 12 disciples of Jesus, but he had a pretty amazing encounter with Jesus that changed his life. So amazing that Paul ended up writing several books in the New Testament, more than any other person. And so in Romans, Paul writes this, Ever since the world was created, it has been possible to see the qualities of God that are not seen. I'm talking about His eternal power and about the fact that He is God. Those things can be seen in what He has made, so people have no excuse for what they do. So what is Paul saying? He's saying, look around. Look at this incredible world. See the incredible things in nature. The ocean, the mountains, how intricate a beautiful single flower is. Why are these things here? Paul is saying it points to a God who created them. But God's creation doesn't just include nature. Look at your friends and family. These people that you love and that love you in return. Where does that love come from? Well, it comes from how you were created. And the fact also points to a God who loves us. Paul is simply saying, look around, take a closer look. When you do, you'll see the evidence of a God who loves you and the world. If we really look for it, we'll see some amazing things about God and the amazing things God is doing in our world. But here's something else I want you to look at today. Even though Paul wrote this with only being able to use his eyes, today we're also able to use tools to help us see things our eyes by themselves can't see. Our eyes can only see so far, but when we look through a telescope and it brings into focus, we can see things farther out in space. And some scientists have even used bigger and more powerful telescopes to see farther and farther into space. And here's the thing about space. It's huge. Let me show you what we've been able to see. So here's us, but here we are in our solar system. <laughs> you see that little tiny blue dot? Yeah, that's us. So that's our solar system. But our solar system is a tiny, tiny thing in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Now, where are we in the galaxy? You gotta figure we're right in the middle, right? Nope. Our solar system, all eight of our planets and the sun is like a speck of sand right here. And you're thinking, well, that's gotta be it, right? The galaxy is huge. So huge, I can't even wrap my head around it. But do you know how many more massive galaxies there are in the universe? Maybe a handful? <laughs> no. Scientists now believe there are two trillion galaxies. <sighs> Mind-blowing, right? When we look up at the stars, it lets us see the traits of a God who is bigger than our imaginations. But now you and I are feeling maybe a little small. Let me show you something else. With a super high-powered microscope, we can see incredible detail of the smallest things. Our body is made up of all kinds of cells and some of the smallest things that do incredible work that help us walk and talk, think and eat, <laughs> digest our food, run around, climb a tree, and each of those cells has its own job. Here, take a look at this. Let's bring this into focus. All right, there we go. What do you think those are? I'll give you a little hint. Everyone take a deep breath right now. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Those are called the alveoli. Our lungs are made up of these tiny air sacs that take in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide with every breath. Look at how credible they are and do so many things. They even are in our lungs, hundreds and millions of them. Every breath while you're running at the gym class, every breath while you're taking a nap or sleeping. When you take a closer look with a microscope, 
we see that even the smallest parts of us is created with such incredible detail and care, our God, who is mind-bogglingly vast, also cares about the smallest things inside of each of you. But what else can we see in creation that God is pointing at? Well, we read in Genesis in the creation story that humans were part of creation. And it says that we all were created in the image of God. <laughs> that includes me and that includes you. It means a lot of things, but I think it means that since we were created in God's image, we too can point to God. I'll give you an example. If I saw a building on fire, <laughs> that would be pretty scary, right? But I wish I had some binoculars. If so, I'd probably see some people. I'd see firefighters running to put out the fire, maybe even going inside to save people. <laughs> when we see people loving others more than themselves, it points to a God who created us to do pretty amazing things, right? When we really focus, we have so many things around us that we can see and observe. And even though we can't physically see God and the things we can see point to God that is here right now working in our lives, as we learn more and more about this world that God has created for us, we can be excited about how much care God gave to the world. And that's a reminder that God loves me and God loves you. And that's some pretty awesome news, right? So see you next time as we take a closer look. everybody it's game time so you know what that means it's time to get up and get active we're gonna have a quick list of stuff for you to uh, have for the games today so grab your stuff and meet us out on the floor the first game we're gonna play is called target practice so grab a hula hoop if you have one grab your ball stand five or six feet away from the circle that you created hold your ball in front of you squat down toss it into the ring if you're not by yourself and you got some friends you can get with you Form a circle and take turns tossing the ball into the ring. If you make it, step back to make it harder. All right, the next game we have is toss, spin, catch. So grab your ball or grab your balloon and you're just gonna stand straight up, hold it about waist level and you're gonna throw the ball straight up, make a 180 degree turn and then catch the ball before it hits the ground. Now, if you can do the 180 degree turn, you can also do a full turn, 360, to challenge yourself a little more. If it's too hard to do with the, the ball, you can always use a balloon for this exercise. All right, guys, for this next game, you're gonna form a circle with your partners, stand about shoulder width apart, spread your legs so that your feet touch your neighbor's feet, and then using that same ball, you're gonna bend over and use your hands to try to tap the ball through your neighbor's legs. If you make it through somebody's legs, you get a point. All right, kids, thanks for playing today. Remember, get out there, stay active, 60 minutes a day. And parents, remember, a child's most important work is play.